Hi guys, welcome to another quick episode of How to Survive Storm Warning Edition. Me and little Arison are sat here. I'm going to do this video and then we're going to play a bit of games. But I did a weapons one, so I thought I'd do a little one on your inventory and things to look out for and best things to collect to help you keep your health and that up. Now, I ain't got any health weeds on me, which is a little medicine weed, which you combine with these, your little rags, and they make like a poultice, like a bandage, that give you a lot of health back. But the one I thought I'd show you, empty bottles, we'll do, we'll do that one, empty bottles, can't have enough of them. You can either fill them with fuel to make explosives, or you can fill them with gasoline, and make yourself a nice Molotov cocktail to burn zombies to death, or... Most important one for your first, you can fill them with water, which you can then combine with this one, which is guarana root, as found in stuff like monster energy drinks and crap like that, which I don't drink. And then if you then combine that with, where's it gone? Oh, I ain't got one. It's, where's that gone? It's off that bit there. The little gas canister on the bot. Let's, uh... Oh, it won't let me uncombine it because inventory is full. And anyway, the little top canister thing on there, if you've got one of them spare, you can then fizzy it up and turn it into like a monster energy drink and it refills everything. Refills your health, your hunger, your thirst and your tiredness. These Garana roots, you can just eat them and they will zap your tiredness back up for a, a short time. Because tiredness is worse one. Once you get tired, your health bar just starts going down and down and down and down. If you can't get somewhere to get to sleep, you're as dead as a doornail. It's proper irritating. Especially if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere and you can't get back to one of these safe houses. Other one, which was the other one, Harrison? This one in it, mushrooms. Pick them up whenever you can. And you can combine them with cooked meats to make that, which is steak and mushrooms, which gives you a, a nice energy boost. Obviously, your water is your water. You drink your water, it ups you first. Blah, 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 blah. And other one's tiredness, which again, like you can drink that fizzy garana drink that you can make or you can eat your grana roots or obvious thing is if you can get to one of these but as he sees i'm not tired and you can zap that up other little supply that you're going to need a lot of is that one your torch motorbike engine there i don't need that which if i wander around here for a couple of seconds i'll be amazed if i don't get pout there you go whenever you're somewhere where you can fill your torch up fill it up because your torch will last all night. If you fill it up, you've got a full night's worth. Die, scumbag. You've got a full night's worth of zapping zombies and these creepy little freaky things that sneak up behind you that I can't stand. What do you call them, Harrison? Crawly things. Crawly things. That's what Harrison calls them. Crawly things. And look, there you go, look. Little freak. Get dead. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. A lot of other stuff you're going to carry around for making potions. You can't make all the potions. So you need to check which character you've got on, whether it's Abby or whether it's, who am I, Elijah or whatever his name is. Because you can only craft certain weapons and certain potions for certain characters. There's certain crafting abilities that each character has. So you go, I've got two zombies there with one shot. Where's my map? Am I anywhere near any water? Where is it, mate? Nope, there's no water here. And when we go down this big level here, there's a big boss. Do you remember? Which we've not done this bit yet. As you can see on this map, we've done quite a bit of stuff. We've got quite a lot. Oh, bears. Oh, I missed him. He's going to die me. Ah, oh, no, he's eating me meat. He's eating me steak and mushrooms, you scumbag. You. Oh, he's got me again. Die. Stupid bear. Well, you're jog on. Could ever have enough leather. Yeah, so anyway, that's basically it, guys. If you want to see how I build that rifle and other guns that I've built, check out my other video on it. And I'm probably going to put some more of these up because it's quite fun. I did have a, a message off a, another Xbox the other day, I think it was Guy No Soda, telling me that he got quite a few guns because you can play this in multiplayer, asking me whether I'd be interested. But to be honest with you, I like playing myself and I want to do it myself and as much as I do appreciate it that he very nicely offered to give me some weapons it kind of takes fun out of the game doesn't it so thanks for offer Dan but 
I'm going to keep crafting away until I get there. So anyway guys, a bit of ammo here. Brandon would appreciate it. Me and Harrison should have said I'm thinking it wrong son. And I will join you on my next video, whatever that might be. Which hopefully I'll be getting some Destiny videos back up soon when I've got some content worth putting on. Any questions or if there's all you want to know guys, or if you've got any tips for anybody else who's just got this, because it is a free Xbox One game at the minute, so I should imagine there's a load of guys who thought, oh, you know what, I'll have a play on that for a note. A bit like me. <laughs> then uh, just drop some comments in the box below. Because if you can help me out, I'll probably appreciate it as well. So thanks for watching guys, and on behalf of me and little Harrison, we'll see you in the next video. So thanks a lot guys, and goodbye. Can't hear you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you next time.